So when it comes to picking our sounds as guitar players, we like to think about the guitar, about the amp, about the pedals, and today I want to talk about something that might be a little bit overlooked, and that's the way we hold our guitar picks. The way you hear your phrases needs different articulation and different types of efficiency, that's why there's no one way to hold a pick. You know, it's, it really changes from player to player. I'm just gonna show you the way I do it. Hopefully it gives you some ideas. So the way I hold the pick is that I anchor my pinky. It really gives me a stable feel when it comes to crossing strings and muting. It really helps me to, you know, be in control over what's going on when I'm playing. Versus if, if you know, if I'm just free, there's more room for strings popping or uh, no ability to mute a very narrow kind of sound if I want to get a full rich tone this really helps me now another thing you can do is hold the pick with three fingers Try doing that and see how you're, you're getting more punchier sound because basically you're, you're putting more mass over the pick, right? You have another finger and also more control. It has a little bit more power to it. You need to really try it to believe it. definitely suggest just experimenting and you're just down picking and noticing that you feel comfortable moving from one string to another while always anchoring the pinky also with sweep picking and you know if I tilt the pick a little bit I get a, a more crunchy kind of attack, sharper kind of sound. So everything for me, the way I hold my pick has to do with sound. Just play your ordinary C major scale and you let me know which sound you prefer. Now honestly I use both of these versions, I like both of their sounds, it's just that I choose when to use them depending on the different musical situation. There's no right or wrong, better or worse here, it's just a different sound. It's all about sound awareness, efficiency of movement and just being able to understand what is the sound you're hearing and what you want to you know, put out there in your music. So basically it's all about experimenting and figuring out what works best for you. Now I'm really curious about your journey when it comes to the way you hold your pick. Do you even think about it? Have you ever tried holding it in different ways? So let's take this video as an opportunity to kind of have a conversation about that topic. I think it's overlooked and it's really interesting. So let me know in the comments below some thoughts about the subject. Check out my other videos, as well as my website, wiseguitar.com. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you in the next video.